Before we start the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll never miss a video or when I decide to stream. Your support is greatly appreciated. What it is, what it do, folks, it is your boy, the Mikey J, in the mother place to be, and today, this is probably, I'm not gonna say it's my last Pokemon video, it's not even, it's, it's related to Pokemon, but, it's, it's a hacking video, so, um, I said I retired from hacking, but I feel like I can do this probably, I can explain this a, a little bit better than, than, than some other people can, so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just do the steps to um, use PK Hex on Ultra Moon, uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I have ult the Ultra Moon version. Um, it's no secret I'm a hacker. Um, stuff uh, you get stuff before. But anyway, um, to full disclosure: I will not. I'm not going to teach you how to hack your 3DS. That's not my job anymore. I don't do that. That's not going to be a thing in the future, no matter how many times people ask. So, full disclosure: your 3DS has to be hacked in order to um, in order to use this, because we're going to be using a a, a a a program called JKSV, uh, JK Save Manager. Um, is it JK JKSM JKSV is the is the folder, but we'll get to that later. Um, JKSM. Um, we're gonna go here. So all files and everything will be down in the description, as well as the latest commit for um, PK Hex. So everything will be down in the description below. All that good stuff. So you're going to want to go to uh, CIA SD. When you start, you know, your your journey and whatnot uh, in, in Pokemon, um, you're going to come down to Ultra, uh, Pokemon Ultra Moon. I have a couple of um, saves on here already. Uh, you're going to want to go to Save Data Options, and you're going to want to go to, first off, to get your save onto your SD card, you're going to go to Export Save, and then you'll go to New. You'll go to New. And then you'll just make up any kind of name. Uh, let's just say I'm gonna I'm gonna name it tutorial for this this sake. A L. Yes, I spelled that right. Good job, Mikey. All right, so we saved it as tutorial, and then we're going to go to um, we're gonna get out of here. Go back, back, get out of here, get out of here, exit, boom. All right, we're back on the main menu uh, we're going to turn it off there we go power off all right from here we're going to take out your SD card and of course you're going to need a uh, SD card reader to plug into your PC there we go all right and of course it's going to pop up with an error or some kind um, and from PK Hex here, mine is already open in what I want to have, but I'm going to open it up anyway. Open, and um, you're going to go to your SD card. This is the this is what we call the root of the SD card. Um, you're going to go to a folder called JKSV. Double click on that. And you're going to want to go to Saves, and then you're going to go to Pokemon Ultra Moon, and then it's going to have a list of folders from the saves that you created. So um, in this case, we'll go to tutorial and then we'll double click on main and wait. Yeah, there we go. Um, so it basically what happens is it opened up the file that was all, you know, your trainer info and all that kind of stuff. So if we click on trainer info, it shows everything here. So if you are one of the guys that, um, you know, got got the game early by CIA or what have you, it's going to it's going to read game started 11 8 2017 or whenever whenever you got it before release you're going to want to change that upon release date um if you if you plan on going online anything like that you're going to want to change that so um basically um uh, if anything i don't I think it'll corrupt your save if you go beyond the date that it's on. So I wouldn't touch it until the day of. So just keep that in mind, all that good stuff. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with this um, now because this is like it's 
this is the most up to date version. I do believe the devs are still working on it, but um, like it's it's PK hex, so you're you're still gonna want to use it just like you did before on on ultra on, on not ultra sun but uh sun and moon. But there are a couple of things different that were added specifically for um ultra sun ultra moon, and uh, we're gonna get into that real quick. Uh, I guess I. You click on trainer info yet again. If you click on the ultra tab, um, you can um, manipulate your surf scores. So you can get, um, you can pretty much do anything with this thing, to be honest. It's more than just a Pokemon generator. Um, you can manipulate your score so you can get your surfing Pikachu and your flying Pikachu and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you go into the battle tree, you can change your stats for your battle tree. Um, I would not. Definitely would not recommend touching anything under the map position and the coordinates because that uh, could um, corrupt saves, all that kind of stuff. If you it'll spawn you in weird places and all that kind of stuff, so definitely want to stay away from that area. Um, fly destination, you can basically put any destination that's on your map. You can see like me, I don't have the flight destination for Ruins of Conflict. I can check that, and now I'll have the flight destination for Ruins of Conflict. So. Um, Map unmask. I'm not sure what that does. Um, I'm not even going to touch it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to save that. And in my box one, you know what? Let me... Uh, let's go ahead and make a, a, a Zora... A Zorora, Zara Aura? Is that is that how you say that, Pokemon? That's the new legendary. That's the... That's the, uh, that's the Mars Shadow of this game, if you will. Um, let's go ahead and... Does he have his attack set... Yes. Oh, Spark Scratch. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's get him to what level? Let's just go 100. Why not? And of course, that's gonna do that because I'm in OBS and it's 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 stupid. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. So I guess I'm gonna have to use use the regular keypad or else it'll change the scene. Anyway, um, all that aside. All that aside, I am going to um, go back into, tr uh, not trainer info, I lost train of thought because stupid mishaps. But anyway, um, level 100, attacks, current moves, there we go. So I guess it does go by what level you have. That's pretty smart. That's, that's actually smart because at first it was level 1 and it gave me um, like the, the, the starter the, the starter moves, but now I'm at level 100 and it gives me the, I guess, the optimal move set for him. Um, so uh, he won't re learn any relearn moves because he's not, uh, I was going to say farmable, playing too much Dokkan. He, he's not breedable. Um, all this kind of stuff. We, we, let me see if I get rid of this and I click on it. Will it give me my, my, my regular trainer info? Let's get rid of that. Uh, trainer info. Come on, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Latest not trainer. Come on. It, it, it. There we go. If you click on OT, there you go. It'll give you your stats. I was like, where the heck do you click for that? But okay, we got it. So if you delete all the information there, if it's like a PK hex file or anything like that, um, you click OT and, um, Oh, you can change it to shiny from here, too. That's dope. So you can... Hmm. Can you? No, I think it was shiny from the get-go. All right, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> but you click OT, and it'll give you all of your uh, your your trainer stats. So that's pretty cool. Um, give him his basic move set. Obviously, this is going to be an event Pokemon, so there real, there's no way to make him legal right now. So... Um, We'll go 31. I keep doing that. I keep doing that, and I don't want to do that. Stop that. Let's do this. 30. Nope, it's still the same thing. Still the same thing. All right. Well, I guess we won't, we won't, we won't touch any numbers from here on out. <laughs> uh, met location. Um, honestly, you can go anywhere with this. I don't think it matters. Met level um, 100. I keep... Numbers, numbers, man. The numbers they keep, they keep doing the thing. I don't, I don't want it to do it. I just don't want it to do it. All right, so that's cool. I wonder, 
Unable to provide a su suggestion. Okay. I guess. I guess. Can't do it like that. But that's cool. Uh, we can make them shiny. All that kind of stuff. And we'll go to set. Hopefully this doesn't corrupt my save. Because it's not really supposed to be there. Um, the thing that I did before. I'll go into trainer info. And I'll go to what miscellaneous. And I'll click everything. And usually that works. I don't know how it works. It just does. So... Let's just do that, save, and we're gonna to go to, in order to put it back on your 3DS, we're gonna to go to um, export save, export main, and then you'll find exactly where you had it, where you opened it, so it'll be your root of your SD card, JKSV saves Pokemon Ultra Moon tutorial main. All right, or, or whatever, whatever you did, and we'll go to replace it. Let's go ahead and eject our SD card. Alright, that's out of here. And we're going to put it back into our 3DS. And it should have that zero... Zero... <laughs> It'll have that guy. I, I have no idea how to say his name, so... It's whatever, though, man. Alright, so we're going to wait for this to boot up here. Note, I am not playing on the emulator. This is my 3DS capture card. So this is all on my 3DS. So no emulator, foul play, or anything like that. Well, of course, there's foul play. It's, I'm hacking, but, you know. At least I'm self-aware, you know? <laughs> Felicify is going to have a field day with this one. Anyway, while we're waiting for this to boot up, because it is an old 3DS, I'm really, really hoping that uh, it's not corrupted. Because cause you can get corrupted stuff. So make sure you back up your saves, ladies and gentlemen. Back up your saves. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, so we're booting up. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. We're sitting here at, 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 at Hia, Hia, Hia City. Um, uh, I said, are you okay? All right. Well, it honestly doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and fly to uh, Hia, Hia City. I thought we were there before. We're going to check in our box just to make sure it works. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I actually skipped this step. Hold on. Alright, so... Come on. Of course it wouldn't have corrupted because I didn't cha transfer the save. So we gotta go back into JK... Uh, <laughs> we gotta go, go back here. And... Uh, import the save back onto the cartridge. So... The moment of truth still isn't here, whether we corrupted it or not. There's a small chance that we may have, but they have been, um, they have been like, like really, really cool, good, good with the updates on PK Hex to, to not basically break your game. Pokemon Ultra Moon save data, and this time we're gonna go to import save, and then we're gonna go down to tutorial, and hit A. There we go. Now, if you're confused and you're wondering why you don't have those folders, it's because you didn't make them. See, whenever you go to new, it's going to make a brand new folder and a brand new save. That's when you go to ex when, when you uh, come off of export. That's when that happens. When you go to import, it doesn't give you an option to make a new one because you're not you're not creating anything. You're just transferring over. If that makes any sense. So I get a lot. I had a lot of questions like last year when I did my PK Hex tutorial. Of why don't I see all the other, um, you know, folders and all that? And I never really went over that. I, I honestly thought that was just common knowledge, but uh, I guess I guess it wasn't. Um, so let's see. Hey, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. If it um, if it does corrupt your save data, it will definitely let you know. So make sure you have a clean save and a um, and a PK hex save. So, I mean, if you're going to be PK, if you're going to be using PK Hex, you're going to want to have it, um, you're going to want to have it as a, uh, a you're going to have it as your in-game, in the game, I should say, not in-game, in the game, save, and then you're going to want to have a, um, a PK Hex save. So if that one ever does get corrupted, you have that other one to fall back on. Alright, so looking at our box, and there is our boy Zerora. 
And he's all shiny. Looking good, Zerura. There we go. Put him in the box, level 100. All right. And uh, I, I, I guess I can show off his, his, his special move. He doesn't have any Z moves, but he does have his own special move that only he can use. So I guess I can show that off real quick. Ooh, we're, we're in Diglett's Tunnel. I don't even know if this is gonna work. Hey, okay, we got a Zubat. We got a Zubat. We living. We living. All right, so there he is, all shiny and whatnot. All right. We're gonna fight, and we're gonna use Plasma Fists. Plasma Fist is his, um, is his exclusive move, and it, it just looks sick, man. It does look sick. Look at that. That's a dope move. All right. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them down in the comment section below. I will try my best to um, help anyone and everyone out as I can, as per usual. Um, as far as getting your 3DS hacked, I will put a link to 3ds.guide. If you guys don't know, um, the 3DS scene, it, it, it basically, it just got away from me. It was a... Um, it was booming so fast that I honestly just couldn't keep up with video. So the, the next best thing for me to do is just like stop doing it and let people just shy away from it. So um, I will not be making any other 3DS hacking videos. I just wanted to put this out there because I felt like I could be, I could explain this just a little bit uh, better, hopefully more clear than anybody else. But uh, that's just me though. Um, but I'm going to get up on air. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been your boy, the Mikey J, in the mother of the place of being. As always, guys, peace. Oh.